Imagine for a moment, you could borrow your dog's senses just for a day. What would the world look like? Smell like? Sound like? Let's step into their paws for a bit. Because their world isn't just different, it's extraordinary. First up, color. Dogs don't see the rainbow like we do. Their world is mostly shades of blue and yellow. Reds, greens, they blur together. It's like watching life through a softer lens, but they're not missing out. Their eyes are made for motion and low light. They see better than us at dawn or dusk because their ancestors had to. When your dog chases a ball, it's not the color they care about. It's how it moves, that quick bounce, the flick of grass. That's what gets their attention. Their eyes are wired to track motion. The tiniest twitch doesn't go unnoticed. But if you really want to understand a dog's world, you have to start with their nose. Where we see a tree, they smell who marked it, when, and what they had for breakfast. Their nose has up to 300 million scent receptors. Ours, about 5 million. To a dog, every scent is a story, a visitor, a storm coming, a shift in your mood. They smell emotion. They smell memory. They smell the past and the present at once. And here's what's wild. Their senses work together. They don't just see you. They smell you. They hear your breath. They map your mood in milliseconds. And then there's hearing. Dogs can hear up to 60,000 hertz. We top out around 20,000. So when your dog reacts to a sound you can't hear, trust them. Their ears pick up the world before we do. When you really think about it, your dog's world is quieter in color, but louder in scent, more subtle in sight, but sharp in sound and motion. They're tuned to the world in a way we'll never quite grasp. And yet, they tune into us again and again. Maybe that's the most beautiful part. They don't just live in a different sensory world, they choose to share it with us.